With a pivot table in Excel, you can summarize a large amount of data as we've done here in this pivot table that shows product sales. Right now they're sorted alphabetically and we can see the total sales for each product and the overall total. We've got two years worth of data in this table. Instead of looking at them alphabetically, we might want to see what the top products are. And a quick way to do that is just click somewhere in the sales column and on the data tab, click Z to A. And that shows the top items at the top of the list and the lower selling products at the bottom. If we want to really narrow the focus and perhaps just look at the top two or three items, we can use a filter. So I'm just going to put them back in alphabetical order. Now with this filter, so I've clicked the filter button on product. I'll go to value filter and down at the bottom is top 10. So I'll click that and in this little window, I can select top 10 items or make other choices here. So I would, would like to leave it at top, but instead of 10, I'm going to select that number and type three instead. So I only want the top three items and that's based on total sales. I'll click OK and there are my top three selling items. They're still sorted alphabetically. So if I would like them in descending order, I'll click Z to A and there are the top three and they total about 136 thousand dollars. I would like to see how many of the worst selling products it would take to make the same amount or a similar sales amount. So I've selected those three columns. I'm going to copy them and just paste them in a nearby column. So I'm going to change that filter and go back into that filter arrow, value filters and back into the top 10. So now I'm interested in the bottom selling items. So I'll change top to bottom. I don't know how many of these bottom selling items it will take to make a similar sales amount. So instead of items here, I'm going to check for a specific sum. And the sum that I'm interested in is this total sales for the top three. Now I can't link to that cell, so I'll have to type the amount in here and I'll use 136,000. Again, based on total sales, I'll click OK. If we select these, we can see down at the bottom that there are 10 items. It's over the amount, so we've got extra included here. If we had only used the bottom nine, the sum would have been only 122,000. So it had to use the, top, or the bottom 10. So we've gone over the amount, but it takes almost 10 of the bottom selling products to do the work that the top three are doing. So with your pivot tables, don't just limit to the top three items or the bottom three items. Try some of the other options in that top 10 filter to analyze your data. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit the Contextures website at www.contextures.com.